Right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SNDL Sundial Growers Inc. Before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, yesterday, after not knowing what was going on for almost about an hour, right? Because I did the analysis, everybody was commenting, I went back, I was looking at the chart and this shot up to about 34 cents and then it started to fall from that point forward and it kind of leveled off at that 30 cent range 33 cent range right it was hanging out around there and we just saw one large candlestick right before the market closed and this was the beginning of today then i finally did that video we saw what was the one correlation that i could find i mean i was looking everywhere couldn't find any news and this was an indirect way of saying or stating uh, what I was seeing and what made sense to me. And I think that that's what made a lot of EV companies go up and made a lot of these ticker symbols within the same industry go up. We did the comparison and everything. And here we are. And pre-market, this was running up tremendously and it reached up to 42 cents. 33 right i use the hundreds and thousands place sometimes but just to go ahead and round it down it was 42 cents up in that area now i want to see what your guys's thoughts are based off of yesterday's video to today and what's going on here and how quickly it dipped i want to go ahead and be bold and say that a lot of people that were in this chart before and they got in anywhere in the 40 cent range took their smaller loss right instead of taking the big hit here in the 20 cent range and anyone that got in while this was going down on its way down took their slight profits that's the only thing i could imagine and then anybody that was playing the options was also cashing out the the small gains on their um options and just you know taking and confirming those profits rather than just waiting for more speculation and hope because just as quickly as it went up it was just fighting hard and every time it was just getting rejected and falling down that's the only thing i see here um a lot of profit taking or minimizing their losses right in their portfolios most investors because if not this could have continued to run comfortably up to the numbers that it reached previously and probably even break through them reaching almost a dollar the reason why i say that is because this run was significant and the volume when you do the math between yesterday almost at a hundred thousand and today in the morning was one million almost in volume and then after it was another half a million but when you look at the whole day falling down i mean almost a million here and then three million here and then it was another million and then there was another half almost half a million above it and then another million and then another million almost right and then it was coming back by a million but when you do the math of all of this it neglects all these gains and it neglects any of the other ones and then everything was just almost half a million a million half a million just taking over not Every single one of those trades within that candlestick were sales, but sales were dominating the amount coming in. So the inflow was less than the outflow. So you can see that most likely what people were doing was taking the smaller hit on their profits and cashing out whatever it is that they got. Or if they were losing, instead of losing down here, they rather have just lost here and take that small hit that's what i'm thinking anybody that wants to confirm that or um, agree with it or disagree with it you're more than welcome to go ahead and comment i would like to see what your guys's thoughts are on this incredible run apart from what i stated yesterday and any other news that uh people find in regards to what made this run and what you guys think in the near future because that's probably one of the most important things. Not this run that just happened and this slight dip. It's what's going to happen next. What do you guys think? You think it's going to go back to where it was? 
where it's going to kind of consolidate and continue to run up. Is there uh, a good prospect right on this and prospective and um, also where it might be going? Or is this something that it ran up, people cashed out, whatever it was, either took a smaller loss than they were already taking or took the slight profits rather than what they were holding. So I look forward to seeing all those comments down below and some of your guys' decisions based off of what you saw today. All right, so here we are with the 50-day moving average and it is 2808. See if I can land exactly on it. There we go. 2808 if you want to round that down to 28 cents that is our 50-day moving average as long as we're above it we're in bullish territory the moment we're below it we're in bearish territory and here we are looking at some of the lowest points reached on the last couple of hours plus one of the highest points as this continued to go down now the lowest point in this whole entire bearish run was down here at this point of 29.25 if you want to write that down you're more than welcome to to see how it's acting in between support and the 50-day moving average if it goes in that direction and we're currently at 31 cents you can have that point as a reference now our resistance this is the first resistance can before continuing its way up but the highest point before it started to fall even lower was 3587 you can write that down as well to keep that number in mind to see where this is going in the near future. But the highest point reach was up here at 42 cents. Now, what is our resistance? Our resistance is 3347. I want to emphasize to all investors that 3347 needs to be broken through by the bulls and turned into a support so that the bulls can continue to work their way up and further away from the 50 day moving average. So 3347 needs to be turned into a support. The bulls can't just hang out sideways. They need to break through this resistance to continue in bullish territory and continue to work their way up to newer highs. So 33.47, I want to emphasize, the bulls need to break through it. Now, here we are with our support. And our support is 29.95. It was touched twice and the bulls brought this back up and leveled it off right there where we're at, at 31 cents. But... If this support is broken through, there's a very small window between 2808 and 2995 to see how this stock is reacting. So super important for every single investor. I want to emphasize, pay close attention to how the stock is reacting between support and the 50 day moving average. How quickly is it moving to newer lows? Are the bulls reappearing or does it break through the 50 day moving average and get deeper into bearish territory because if that does happen you need to pay close attention because there's going to be a tug of war between the bulls and the bears and just because it breaks through the 50 day moving average does not mean that the bulls don't have a chance and that the bears gain full control but you need to watch closely to the behavior the inflow and the outflow of how much stocks are being sold or bought also put your one minute your five minute and your 15 minute chart frames to see what's going on and who's dominating but you need to pay close attention to how it's acting but before worrying about any of those numbers down here in bearish territory or below the 50-day moving average the first support to pay close attention to how this stock is reacting even though you're still in bullish territory if it breaks through it is 29.95 and pay close attention to what's going on beyond that point as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.